Hey guys, welcome back to Man Eater. On the first episode, we found out that we were playing with our mother, a female bull shark, and there's this fisher by the name of Scaly Pete, in which killed our mother and then took us out of her womb and as you can see, scarred the crap out of us and then threw us into the lake um, so he can someday in the future kill us. And before doing that, we chopped off his arm. So obviously he's gonna come back with a vengeance. And right now we're just playing as a pup. Well, we've actually evolved into a teen. We're, we're currently a teenage bull shark. And I believe we're also a female. Now, our whole purpose here is to eat and eat and eat and evolve and grow and hopefully take down Scaly Pete. So if that is not cool, <laughs> I don't know if a shark game can get any cooler than that, okay? Right now, we have a brand new objective, and uh, our objective right now is the third cave feminism. Visit Dead Horse Lake Grotto. All right, so we're going to go ahead, and we're going to swim all the way to Dead Horse Grotto. Now, eating in this game is beyond important. Like, it's extremely important. I'm going to submerge here. See if I can get this. Now we do need there we go now the cool thing about this game is that there is all sorts of predators especially now that we're kind of small we're, we're about two meters in length so we could get eaten by alligators or maybe other sharks obviously depending on where we're at right right now we're in a lake so we got to be aware of like alligators and crocodiles and whatever the hell is in here so what's the crocodile yo um, yeah, I think there's a crocodile nearby, so we've got to be extra careful. Now, crocodiles, I believe they're more dangerous than alligators. I'm not a crocodile or reptile expert, but I know African crocodiles are quite dangerous. So I'm going to try and avoid that, dude. We're only like a level four. We need to be like a level 10 at least to be able to take on these damn alligators and crocodiles. I killed one off last time, but then he had like a buddy. And he, they started tag teaming me and uh, tag teaming me. And I almost died. So I've got to be careful. Now we've got some sort of. Hmm, let me take a look at the map. If we've got to go all the way over there, we can zoom in here. And it looks like maybe we can go through here. All right. I need some of these groupers. I definitely should try and eat more because eating is extremely helpful. It does help us grow and evolve and stuff. So. Another animal more. falls prey to the raggedy toothed apex predator. One thing I do like about this game is the narrator in the background. I think it's super, super cool. Okay, now I think we got to cross that bridge or that wall. Not necessarily cross it, but we've got to go under somehow and see how we can get across to the other side. We've got to visit the Dead Horse Lake Grotto. Now, how do we get there? I've got no idea. Maybe through here. Ooh, hold up. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What is this? Nice. Okay. Oh, this is nice. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Oh, dude, this is cool. This looks like all beat up and just pretty much abandoned, honestly. Oh, we're about to get another evolution or whatever the heck this is. Oh, what is this? Oh, that hurts me. Okay. N never mind. I thought we were getting... <laughs> we're about to upgrade, but uh, nope, not happening. Uh, this is definitely an abandoned sort of like it's like a wasteland Ooh. don't mind if i eat you thank you very much now the fish here are higher level so this is definitely gonna help us like i feel like it's definitely gonna allow us to upgrade ourselves much much quicker can we jump that way Yes, we can. Oh, dude, this is awesome. Oh, look at the city in the backdrop. This is so cool. 
Okay, I think we've got another landmark here that we're going to be able to uncover. Yep. Trash man. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. <laughs> by intoxicated locals. Okay, we've got another one of these here. License plate. A barracuda. Ah. I'd really like to go there. Give that damn barracuda. Okay, we're gonna keep swimming. I think uh, we're just gonna follow this cable here and it should take us to the grotto cave. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Now, mind you, that's a car. Two meters is actually a pretty big freaking size. Look at, look at the fish, look at the shark in comparison to, to a vehicle. It's actually not bad. We're not that small anymore. Okay, so now that we're here, what is that, a jellyfish? Huh. Seems to be another one of those, like, submarine type of things. Okay, so I guess go back to the log. We've got completed Dead Horse Lake uh, Revenge, complete the lake hunts, complete Dead Horse Lake population control. Let's do... Let's go down the list. Jolton Joes. All right, here we go. I'm not going to upgrade that sonar sensor yet. This is the log. Yeah, we're here. Well, that's an alligator. We've got to be careful. I mean, we're, we're, we're a higher level right now. We can definitely eat up that alligator. But look at this. Got a nice little paracuda here. Yeah. Yep. Come here, Barracuda. Come here, Bo Barracuda. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. It's almost dead, anyways. Oh, he missed. I mean, I missed. Hold on. Gotta be careful. This little Barracuda's feisty, man. I mean, he's, he's not like an alligator, so I don't really have to worry about getting hit. If I get hit, it doesn't really matter. I can take it. There we go. What I'm talking about. God damn, somebody's hungry. Mmm, delicious. All right. Dude, this is creepy, bro. Oh, we've got one of these chests. Nice. We're about to the hit level five. Is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Consume 10, <laughs> 10 humans. Consume 10 humans. Sure, don't mind if I do. Flamingo Joes. <laughs> now keep in mind. This game wants me to take out these humans. Not just any human. The ones you're having a party. Here we go. It's a shark! Yes! <laughs> we just ruined their picnic! <laughs> oh, we gotta be careful. Come here, pal. He said it got me. Dude, we gotta be careful with this freaking health crap. <laughs> Alright, gotta go back. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Don't take it personal. But I am a bull shark on a mission. Scaly P will go down. One day. In order for me to achieve this mission, I must kill all of you guys. Imagine if there was actually a shark of this vicious. All right, can we actually? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right, hold on. 
So I think if we go lower. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, killing humans and, and boats increases the threat level. Gotta be careful here. Okay, we've gotta go back. I don't even know why they're not running. It's like, dude, you have literally a psychotic bull shark trying to eat you guys. Like, why are you even still there? Like, run, go home or something. I don't know, go watch Sex in the City or some shit. This is one vicious shark, my boys. That's all I'm saying. I need human no flesh. abdominal muscles to hold them in place, the shark's intestines become ungainly out of one. Really? I like how they just throw facts at us. We're crashing a picnic here. Are you not going to save your wife? No. Level five reached. Holy cow. Okay. No idea what that does. Closer to another evolution phase, Incidents I guess. Incidents like these remind us that as we continue to encroach on formerly stable ecosystems, we are taking a casual stroll towards our own self-destruction. There we go. Sheesh. Bro, this is vicious, bro. Like, I'm scared of myself. Got a regular there at Flamingo Joe's. Say it's a tourist trap, but it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. Suffocating, can I breathe on land? Okay, we're gonna go back to our log. What a dump! All right, so we'll pin this one, destroy the target. Where's the target? Wait, that's not the target. Some of these other like uh, openings require us to be elder, which is really interesting. I want to see how much bigger we can get. Thank you. Now, as we level up, we are going to need to consume a bigger, bigger, bigger fish. Okay, so birds of passage, what a dump, destroy the target. Running the picnic for everyone, huh? Some Sorry. Ichthyologists theorize that sharks are attracted to come ashore by the refreshing tropical scent of wine coolers. Oh God! All right, you know what? That's enough. I've been messing up these people's nights. It's time for me to go and possibly hunt one of our own. Ooh, another landmark. Hold on. Thank you. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Okay, so how do we get there? Let's see if maybe going through here, we can get there. But yeah, uh... I was saying it earlier, one thing that makes this game really unique is as you're playing, you get this narrator just giving you Until straight up facts. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. Now, not everything is going to be a fact, of course. I'm sure some of it's just there thrown into the game, but it gives you facts about the sharks and stuff like that, which is actually pretty cool. Now right, we're almost there. 300 meters to go. Do we have to go under here? No, we do not. Actually, we might have to go around. Yep, let me see. There's no mini-map, so we're gonna have to go around. Yep. Oh, around and under, or what? 
Oh, this is where we came from last time, right? Yeah, this is exactly where we came from. This is a freaking wasteland, bro. Very nice. I'll have me some yummy, delicious catfish. Don't mind if I do. Got this really big fat grouper here. Can I have a grouper, please? Very nutritious indeed. I think that's our first grouper. Here we go. This is it. Wait, do we still have that? Uh, yeah, we still got it equipped. The mission is still active. A lot of troopers here. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, there's an alligator here. And a barracuda. That's the other side. That's our cave. Oh no, it looks, it looks just like the one from our cave. I don't know if I could take these guys on. Let me see if I can take them on. If not, I'm going to retreat. I will try it out. Nice. Holy crap. Ah! Yeah, we're probably going to retreat. Probably gonna retreat. Yep, 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 yep. Almost got killed there, boys. Sheesh. Now eating does also replenish your health. So that's a good thing. See if I can take out this alligator. Barracuda, whichever one comes first. Come here, asshole. It's a level eight. I should be able to take it out. Barracuda. Very good. Took out the Barracuda. Come on. Come here. Shit. Let me tell you, these other predators are pretty challenging. Oh, look at this. Alligator. Where is it? Where is it? Oof. Nice. Perfect. We've got the barracuda. Now it's just the alligator left. <laughs> He's got like two legs. He got me with the tail whip. Oh my god, he got me on that death roll. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. We got all the snacks we need. Alright, break here. Yep, here it is. Here we go. So we just gotta take out the groupers. Is that it? Ah, it's not bad. It's not too bad. Alright, six groupers, four more to go. Let's see. Here, grouper, 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 groupers. Here, groupers, grouper, grouper, groupers. I think we've got more in here. Yep. There's fucking alligators here. Oh no. More alligators. What are you looking at, huh? I already killed one of you guys. I have no problem killing two more. Alright, these guys are a little fearful. Fearless. Gotta be careful here. Yep. 
All right, grouper. I need some grouper food. Have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling tower. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. Really? Really? Hold on, view the quest. Let me check out the quest. Um, complete Dead Horse Lake population control. One out of three. Up in the junction. Kill eight groupers. Okay. This is a level six. Should be a good snack. And finally, we need two more. I'm really good. At, uh, I'm, I'm happy that when you eat like other fish or whatnot, it restores your health just because there's so much like predators out in the wild. You know what I mean? So that's always good. Kill the apex. Oh, barracudas. Oh, God. Fucking hunters. Gotta be careful with the hunters, too. The needle tooth nightmare. The Barracuda. Oh, Barracuda boss fight. Indeed, this is our first boss fight. Oh, crap. What the hell is that? Oh, she's fast. Oh. Okay, hold up, hold up. I need me some fish. <laughs> oh, God, I need fish. Hold on, hold on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is not good. Oh, shit. Who would have ever thought that being a damn shark is so, <laughs> so fucking hard? Will you stop it? Bro, this thing is so fucking fast. Oh, dude, how annoying. Oh my god, leave me the fuck alone. The apex barracuda. I don't hit it. Come on. Bitch. Okay, it's almost dead. So am I. It's almost dead, but so am I. And there's three of three, four of them. Why eat the damn fish? You stinking shark. We don't got time for games right now. Good, good. And we're just apex barracuda. Oh. I'm just gonna freaking attack it, bro. What other options do I have, right? I need another fish. Nobody messes with the pool shark. You hear me? Excellent. Here we go. Oh, dude, so good. Where is it? Yes. I oh, hear it is. Woo! Dude, it's so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> It's freaking fast, bro. Chomp, 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 chomp away! Oh god! Ah. Come on, come on, come on! Where is it? 
It is so freaking fast. Barracuda. We got it. While most recognize <laughs> it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Nice. Right. I'm going to eat. Isn't the Barracuda the one that ate Nemo's mom? Or all of his brothers and sisters at the beginning of Finding Nemo or something like that? That was a Barracuda, right? I'm pretty sure. Nice. We're almost a level seven. And little by little, as you can see, we are growing to become, hopefully one day, the most feared shark in all of Sharkland. All right, so we're gonna go ahead here and we're going to go to the map and we're gonna go fast travel because you can fast travel. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Sober self-reflection. <laughs> this game is intense, bro. We are 2.2 meters big, so we're actually, uh, we've, we've grown. We've grown a bit. So we're here at the evolution tree or whatever we want to call it. And looks like we unlocked the bone teeth. This evolution allows you to rend, uh, rend steel and hold on to slippery prey. Passive plus 5% uh, thrash damage and plus 12% boat bite damage bonus. Requires teen, which we are. Oh shit, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is nasty. All right, guys, I think that's the only thing, right? Body tail, we don't have any of that yet. Dude, this is cool. All right, guys, so there you have it. We've uh, officially went head to head with the Apex Barracuda. We've upgraded our shark. We've got a uh, set of new bone teeth for the jaw department. And uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. And of course, if you are, leave it a like. That lets me know you want more. And uh, hopefully, I'll catch you guys on the next one.